Hello everyone, I'm Rochelle with Originally Worn and today I'm going to show you how I finish a tabletop with a black unicorn spit and polyurethane. Hope you enjoy! So here is the table I'm going to be working on today. I've already finished um, the underneath parts and all the chairs with probably about five or eight different uh, Annie Sloan chalk paint colors and clear wax and black wax and gold gilding wax. Um, so it's got tons of co crazy colors down there. But the top here I painted in Annie Sloan graphite and it just was a little bit too blue and a little bit too light for me. So normally to combat that what I would do is I would um, just put black wax all over it but I don't want to put black wax as a solid table thing um, just because it's not quite as durable as clear wax and it makes me a little bit just teeny bit nervous for a dining room table as a solid black wax top. So I'd rather actually put a um, poly top on this particular project. So I'm going to be using um, my unicorn spit here that I've started to fall in love with. And this is black, and I think technically it's midnight's blackness. Um, but I'm hoping that it will be like a dark, 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 solid black color on the top. So to start with, I am going to sand this down because as I'm sitting here, I'm feeling it. It's got just a teeny, teeny little bits of, oh, just little paint chunks and this and that in there. I'm gonna try to make it as smooth as possible. So, I'll get to work on that. I'm gonna be using a fine sanding block for that and then trying to go kind of in this fake grain direction. This is actually a laminate top table. It doesn't have any real grain to it, but I'm going to attempt to kind of, you know, make things look like it might. So, I'll just lightly kind of Hit this over the top, and because there's graphite, um, you know, anti stone chalk paint here, it looks scary where I'm sanding. But really, if I were to get this wet or to put wax on this, it wouldn't change the color of the graphite that much. It's just how um, anti stone chalk paint looks while you're sanding it before it's waxed. So don't be scared. So now that I have the top all kind of sanded smooth and cleaned off, I'm going to take a uh, Andy Sloan flat synthetic brush to minimize my brush strokes and my black unicorn spit and a spray bottle with a fine mist of water in it to kind of help move this stuff around because I'm not going to dilute it at all. Um, although you can, I want it to be like the blackest black possible. Um, so I'm going to put it straight on there, but I might need to spray some of the water to really help it move around a little bit. We'll see. So now I have one layer of the black unicorn spit on everything and you can already see how much darker um, it is and it's it's the black I want. Um, plus once I put the poly on top of it, it will um, help quite a bit in kind of making it shiny and making that come out. But I am going to put a second coat on it and I'm going to do it to where I go this direction now with it, um, just to kind of fill in any maybe brush strokes that I might have. I'm really hoping for a very smooth finish over top of everything.
So now it's time for the top coat. Um, because I use Unicorn Spit, you need to have an oil-based top coat. So I am using Wipe On Poly. Um, and how you do this is that you shake this really well and you get a lint-free rag and you kind of dump it on your rag and then you work this into the wood. So that's what you'll see next. Okay, pause. Oh, I know you're watching the video on how to create the tabletop, um, but I have a confession to make. It's been like two weeks since I've done that first part of the video. Uh, we were slam packed finishing a kitchen, which is amazing, um, but I also jacked up the top of the table really bad and needed my husband to come in and help me and teach me how to finish it. So, um, Although we did do all the steps there, um, I sanded my last step too early. So what happened is I like gummed up the whole top. So I had to basically start all over. So I sanded it down and redid all the steps that you've just saw now and put the wipe on poly. And we've come to the point now where there's been um, multiple layers of the wipe on poly and um, a light, light sand in between all of them. And I'm gonna do one more layer of that, but really, truly, it's the same as what you've already watched. Um, so, just to tell ya, my husband says wipe on poly is the simplest stuff on the planet. Um, I've been doing this for years, but waxing, and I messed up the wipe on poly. So I guess you're used to what you're used to. Um, I have the hang of it now and the top is turning out beautiful, but I just wanted you to know, don't sand too early and if it's gummy, don't keep sanding and stop what you're doing before you ruin everything that you've done for the last week, like I did. So <laughs> finally, um, I'll show you the top here though. Let me see if I can get around to it. So here is how the top has turned out, and I do love it. Um, I think it's quite beautiful. It is definitely a solid black like I wanted, and a high gloss shiny. And um, I think it turned out great. I just can't sand it too early. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and knowing that I mess up a lot too. <laughs> um, but that's a haul we all learned, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, if you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to um, our Originally Worn YouTube channel. Hope you have a great day. Happy painting. <laughs>